There you go, it's SD. I went ahead and hooked up one of these uh, exhaust fans to the battery room here. It uh, asked for a uh, 2.5 amp fuse. I just went down to Radio Shack and got an inline fuse holder and got the amp in there. Then went out to Home Depot and got some of this plastic flex line that you can buy and ran it over here to the, to the negative and then coming out of the positive. I've got the inline fuse there. Came back over here and just hooked it up to the switch. And that runs back up and around and goes to the fan. Now these batteries haven't been uh, hooked up on uh, charger for about at least a week doing this uh, rebuild. Battery sitting at uh, 24.9. We'll go ahead and fire this thing up. It moves some pretty, pretty good air. Hundred and thirty-five CFM air. So that's not too bad. I just put a little shelf across there and have it centered in the uh, vent there. It came out pretty good. And I've got uh, two other ones in the other room. I'm going to hook one right below the. Uh, uh, Inverter charger and then another one up in the attic attic loft area there Have it bent now, so There'll be two over there and they'll be independently switched also Just in a little setup just like this here It's pretty easy just to run it over here No problems All right guys, there's an easy way to get your fans hooked up And like I say again, these are uh, continuous duty fans so you can leave them running all the time if you want but usually when the uh, sun goes down you won't need them too much unless you get some serious wind going in going into the batteries so there it is it's a rule you can get those from uh, go to marine.com made that on that video before but I figured I'd get one installed so you guys can see how much air this thing pushes all right we'll see you all later